Waking abruptly from her slumber, the woman who shared her nights with an elephant was met with a startling revelation. What followed was nothing short of extraordinary elephants, the magnificent giants of the land, stand as symbols of majesty and grace, yet, their existence is under threat, with their numbers dwindling due to relentless hunting for their coveted ivory tusks. With fewer than 3,000 of these majestic creatures left in the wild, individuals like Sangdu and Leg Chilet have made it. Their mission to protect and preserve these remarkable animals at the forefront of this noble endeavor is Lek, the visionary founder of the Elephant Nature Park nestled in the heart of Chiang Mai, Thailand. Since its establishment in 1996, Lek has dedicated her life to rescuing and rehabilitating elephants, offering them sanctuary from the perils that threaten their existence over the years. Lek's sanctuary has welcomed over 200 elephants, each with their own tale of suffering and resilience. Many arrive at the park in a state of utter desolation, their spirits broken by years of exploitation and abuse, some of them arrive here like zombies, not even recognizing themselves as elephants. Lex shared in a poignant interview about her life's work, it was a chance encounter in her youth that sparked Lex's unwavering dedication to these gentle giants, venturing into the jungle near her home one fateful day. Lex was met with a gut-wrenching sound that echoed through the trees, following the Haunting cry, she stumbled upon a heartrending sight, a magnificent elephant shackled and enslaved, forced to toil under the weight of heavy logs. The sight of such cruelty ignited a fire within Lek, a solemn vow to protect these innocent creatures from further harm. From that moment on, she embarked on a lifelong mission to rescue and rehabilitate elephants in need, providing them with the love and care they so desperately deserved. Yet, the road to recovery is fraught with challenges, many of the Elephants Lek rescues bear the scars of their past, both physical and psychological, from malnutrition to debilitating injuries inflicted by the brutal logging industry, each animal carries the weight of its suffering but Lek remains undeterred, steadfast in her commitment to restoring hope and dignity to every elephant in her care, through her tireless efforts. She not only offers refuge to these magnificent creatures but also advocates for an end to their exploitation, ensuring that they are never again subjected to the cruelty of captivity and exploitation, in the sanctuary overseen by Lek, a sanctuary born of compassion and dedication, the heartbreaking stories of the elephants under her care unfold, many arrive with their sight compromised, victims of cruel slingshots aimed at their eyes or subjected to the harsh glare of circus lights, Lek understands that healing begins with love, a love that permeates every aspect of their rehabilitation, we have to heal them with love, Lek explains with unwavering conviction we have to let nature rehabilitate them make them feel safe and secure in her sanctuary trust is paramount lek and her team work tirelessly to establish a bond of trust with each elephant creating a haven where they can find solace and healing unlike other organizations that may resort to tricks or performances to sustain their sanctuaries Lek's approach is refreshingly simple yet profoundly impactful at lek's sanctuary there are no tricks rides or painted elephants. Instead, visitors are invited to engage with the elephants in their natural habitat, feeding, bathing, and walking alongside these magnificent creatures. It's an opportunity for humans to connect with the world's largest land animal on a deeper level, fostering empathy and understanding. For Lek, these elephants are not mere animals, they are individuals deserving of love and respect. I never think that an elephant is an animal, she reflects, I think they are a person, her profound connection with the elephants has earned her the title of Thailand's Elephant Whisperer, a testament to her ability to communicate with these gentle giants on a level that transcends language, yet, Lek's ultimate goal extends beyond the confines of her sanctuary. She dreams of a future where wild elephants once again roam freely through the jungles of Thailand and beyond. It's a vision fueled by hope and fueled by the joyous moments she witnesses as the elephants rediscover their innate wildness. When they start rolling in the mud, trumpeting, and swimming in the river, that's when I have tears of joy, Lex shares with a radiant smile, however, the journey to rehabilitation is not always straightforward, some elephants bear scars, both physical and emotional, that may never fully heal, for these individuals, returning to the wild may not be possible, but in Lex's sanctuary, they find a forever home, a place where they are cherished and cared for as cherished members of the family, in Lex world, every elephant matters, every life saved is a triumph, a testament to the power of compassion and the enduring bond between humans and animals, and as long as there are elephants in need, Lek will continue to stand as their unwavering champion, 
a beacon of hope in a world too often marked by cruelty and indifference, indeed, a significant number of elephants brought to sanctuaries are infants, torn away from their mothers by loggers seeking to exploit their labor, in response, Lek has devised a special method to ease their transition into sanctuary life rather than leaving these vulnerable youngsters to fend for themselves in the unfamiliar surroundings of the sanctuary, Lek offers them a comforting presence through the night, armed with a blanket and a pillow, she settles down on the floor next to the baby elephants, providing them with the reassurance and security they desperately need, but Lek isn't alone in this endeavor, her husband stands by her side, ensuring her safety throughout the night as they both offer solace to the orphan calves. One particular night, Lek found herself settling down with the newest arrival, a baby elephant named Fifi. To her surprise, Fifi, seeking comfort, nestled close to Lek's husband instead. The following morning, Lek awoke to a heartwarming sight. Fifi curled up next to her husband, finding solace in his presence. Moved by the unexpected bond between man and elephant, Lek captured the moment on her phone, a testament to the enduring connection between humans and animals, as nights passed, Fifi's attachment to Lek's husband only grew stronger, she would seek him out whenever he was near and refused to sleep with anyone else, while puzzled by the turn of events, Lek was grateful that Fifi had found comfort in someone amidst her tumultuous journey, over time, Fifi gradually outgrew her attachment, but she still greeted Lek's husband with affection whenever he visited, their bond was a testament to the profound impact humans can have on the lives of animals in need, it is through the compassion and dedication of individuals like Lek and her husband that elephants like Fifi are given a chance to thrive, their remarkable story serves as a reminder of the enduring bond between humans and animals and the transformative power of love and kindness for those inspired by their story, there are opportunities to support the Elephant Nature Park's mission and help ensure a brighter future for these magnificent creatures, through their website, Individuals can learn more about how they can contribute to the welfare of elephants in need, joining the efforts to protect and preserve these beautiful beasts for generations to come. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there's an another story about elephants, let's expect what will happen throughout her life. Daphne Jenkins dedicated herself to a noble cause that was close to her heart, wildlife conservation. Her journey began in the lush landscapes of Kenya where she was born to British parents during the era when Kenya was a British colony. Growing up on a large farm and visiting her father who worked on a game reserve during World War II, Daphne was exposed to the wonders of wildlife at a tender age. This early exposure ignited a passion within her, a dream to live amongst the majestic animals under the vast African sky. As Daphne grew older, her path seemed intrinsically linked to the world of animals and their preservation, her first marriage to Bill Woodley, a man deeply involved in combating poaching in various Kenyan game reserves, further deepened her involvement in animal conservation. Though their marriage ended, Daphne's unwavering commitment to the cause did not, her heart remained with the animals, and fate led her to David Sheldrick, a warden of one of Kenya's largest national parks and a man whose passion for wildlife mirrored her own. Their shared devotion to animal conservation formed the foundation of their partnership, both personally and professionally, together. Daphne and David Sheldrick embarked on a lifelong mission to protect and care for the wildlife entrusted to them. They fought tirelessly against poachers and implemented safety measures to safeguard the animals within the park. Tragically, their efforts also extended to caring for the orphan young of elephants and rhinos, victims of the very poaching they fought against. This work was not just a job for Daphne, it was a calling, a way to make a tangible difference in the lives of these magnificent creatures adopting a wild elephant to save its life was a testament to Daphne's deep commitment to this cause. Years later, as an elderly woman returning to the bush she loved, the sight of a massive herd of elephants moving past her in the distance was overwhelmingly emotional, it was as if she was gazing upon long-lost family members, the tears that streamed down her face were a mixture of joy, nostalgia, and a deep sense of accomplishment, her entire life had been devoted to the care and preservation of these giants. And in this moment, she was witnessing the fruits of her labor. No one could have predicted the incredible turn of events that would unfold next. Daphne's journey, from a young girl with a dream to an old woman witnessing the impact of her life's work, is a powerful testament to the difference one person can make when they dedicate their life to a cause greater than themselves. Her legacy is a reminder that passion, dedication, and love for the natural world can lead to extraordinary outcomes. 
changing the course of conservation and the lives of countless animals for the better, among the myriad of animals Daphne Jenkins and her husband, Bill Woodley, cared for, their efforts extended beyond elephants and rhinos, from zebras to antelopes, from birds to creatures of all sizes, any baby animal in need found refuge under their care, while their ultimate goal was to rehabilitate and release these animals back into the wild, the reality often differed during the late 1950s to the late. 1970s in Kenya, resources for animal care were scarce, particularly for large animals like baby elephants and rhinos. Daphne's ingenuity came to the fore as she experimented with milk formulas, concocting her own blends to provide the necessary nourishment. It was through trial and error that she discovered the efficacy of coconut oil in providing essential fats crucial for the health of these young animals, as word of their expertise spread. Daphne and Bill became the go-to team for animal rescue across game parks in Kenya. Together, they navigated the challenges of rescuing and rehabilitating orphan animals, forging a formidable partnership in the field of conservation. Tragically, Daphne's world was shattered when Bill passed away at the age of 57, after 17 years of marriage and shared dedication to wildlife conservation. Despite her grief, Daphne remained resolute in her commitment to honor Bill's legacy and continue their mission with her daughter, Jill, by her side, Daphne pressed on, nurturing orphan rhinos and elephants under their care, their efforts laid the foundation for what would become the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, a beacon of hope for orphan wildlife worldwide today. The Sheldrick Wildlife Trust stands as a testament to Daphne's unwavering dedication and pioneering spirit, from its humble beginnings. The trust has grown into the most successful orphan elephant rescue and rehabilitation program globally. Their work extends beyond orphan care to include anti-poaching efforts, mobile veterinary units, and aerial surveillance to protect elephants and rhinos from poachers despite the vast scale of their operation. Daphne's legacy lives on in the countless lives she touched and the extraordinary bond she shared with the animals she dedicated her life to saving. Among the 262 baby elephants rescued by the trust, many owe their survival to Daphne's personal care and commitment, and among them, there are a few whose stories hold a special place in the heart of this remarkable woman, a testament to the enduring impact of love, compassion, and unwavering determination in the face of adversity amidst the heaviness of grief, Daphne found herself caught in the relentless tide of despair, struggling to navigate each passing day, then, like a beacon of hope in the darkness, came the phone call, an urgent plea for help from a nearby national park, an orphan elephant, teetering on the brink of life and death, needed her expertise, despite the weight of her own sorrow, Daphne wasted no time, with a renewed sense of purpose, she embarked on the journey to rescue the ailing calf, the scene that greeted her was one of devastation, a poignant testament to the brutality of poaching, traces left by skilled trackers revealed the harrowing events that had unfolded, a mother elephant, weakened by childbirth, brutally attacked by heartless poachers, in a desperate bid to shield her newborn, she fell victim to their indiscriminate gunfire, the tiny calf, cradled against her side, bore witness to the unfathomable cruelty inflicted upon her family. When Daphne surveyed the scene, her heart ached with sorrow, yet, amidst the despair, a flicker of determination ignited within her, she would not allow this innocent soul to succumb to despair. With tender care, she tended to the calves' physical wounds, offering solace in the midst of tragedy, but the wounds that ran deepest were those of the heart, the calves' eyes mirrored the profound grief. That weighed upon Daphne's own soul, a shared anguish that transcended language and species. Recognizing the depth of the calf's trauma, Daphne vowed to be her guiding light through the darkness. With unwavering dedication, Daphne immersed herself in the calf's care, offering comfort in the form of gentle embraces and soothing words. Though the calf initially resisted nourishment, physical contact became a source of solace, a silent reassurance of love and compassion in a world shattered by loss. Day by day, the bond between Daphne and the calf grew stronger, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the capacity for healing in the face of adversity. Together, they traversed the tumultuous landscape of grief, drawing strength from each other's presence. As the days turned into weeks, a transformation began to unfold. The once forlorn calf, enveloped in Daphne's unwavering love, began to find solace in the embrace of her surrogate mother. Those scars of trauma lingered. A glimmer of hope illuminated their path forward, a testament to the enduring power of compassion and resilience in the face of unimaginable loss. By the second day, Rose, the young elephant, 
cautiously began to sip small amounts of the milk formula provided by Daphne. With each passing day, her appetite increased, yet her demeanor remained somber. Despite her sadness, Daphne patiently offered comfort, and the bond between them deepened. In moments of solace, Rose would approach Daphne, seeking reassurance, their foreheads touching in a silent exchange of affection. It was a poignant reminder of the remarkable connection between human and wild animal, a relationship built on trust and mutual understanding. Rose bore a scar on her shoulder, a reminder of the bullet wound that had threatened her life. Yet, under Daphne's care, she blossomed, earning the name, Rose, for the delicate beauty she embodied. Though their bond was profound, Daphne knew that Rose's ultimate destiny lay in the wild. As Rose matured, Daphne gradually relinquished her hands-on care. Preparing the young elephant for her eventual release, it was a bittersweet transition, marked by the realization that their time together was drawing to a close. Yet, Daphne remained steadfast in her commitment to Rose's well-being. With careful consideration, Daphne identified a herd known for its acceptance of orphaned elephants, a family where Rose could find her place. As Rose tentatively approached the matriarch, Daphne's heart swelled with hope mingled with apprehension. This was the moment of truth, the threshold between captivity and freedom. While the matriarch extended her trunk in a gesture of welcome, Rose stood, awestruck by the presence of her own kind. In that moment, the vastness of the African wilderness stretched before her, beckoning her to embrace her newfound freedom. With gentle nudges, the matriarch guided Rose toward the waiting herd, a symbol of acceptance and belonging for Daphne. It was a moment of profound significance, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring bond between human and animal. As Rose embarked on her journey to freedom, Daphne watched with a mixture of pride and sorrow, knowing that she had played a pivotal role in shaping Rose's destiny in the vast expanse of the African savanna. Rose would find her place among her kind, a testament to the transformative power of love, compassion, and the unbreakable bond between human and wild animal. And as she disappeared into the embrace of her new family, Daphne's heart swelled with a sense of fulfillment, knowing that she had given Rose the greatest gift of all, the gift of freedom. Everything had been progressing exceptionally well, and after a few days, they observed the situation from afar. To an outsider, Rose seamlessly integrated into the herd as if she had always belonged. This integration evoked mixed feelings in Daphne, for she realized she would never again experience the unique bond of having an elephant rest its forehead against hers, Daphne's. Life continued to be dedicated to the rescue and care of numerous wild animals, including many elephants. However, the unique connection she shared with Rose, where Rose would place her forehead against Daphne's, remained unparalleled and was an experience she cherished deeply. As time passed, Daphne noticed a decline in her ability to keep up with her usual vigorous activities. Her daughter stepped in to take over many of her duties, yet Daphne felt a pervasive sense of fatigue that she jokingly attributed to the inevitable march of aging, a concept she had always struggled to accept due to her indefatigable spirit. Her family, concerned about her well-being, urged her to seek medical advice. Reluctantly, she agreed, and the diagnosis they received was devastating, breast cancer. This meant Daphne would have to leave her cherished animals in Africa and return to England for specialized treatment. Daphne fought the disease with the same tenacity she had shown in her battles. Against poachers, but the cancer proved to be an implacable enemy. Despite her fierce determination, the disease's relentless progression led her doctors to the heartbreaking conclusion that there was nothing more they could do. Faced with this reality, Daphne's sole wish was to return to Kenya, to be amongst the landscapes and creatures that she loved most. Surrounded by her family, in her 80s, despite her illness, Daphne's spirit remained undiminished. Knowing her time was limited, she expressed a desire to visit the national parks one last time. To witness the thriving elephant herds she had played a pivotal role in preserving, they drove into the park, finding a spot under the shade of a thorn tree. When an elephant herd approached, Daphne was moved to tears by the sight of these majestic animals she had dedicated her life to protect. Among them, she spotted an elephant bearing a distinctive rose-shaped scar on its shoulder. It was Rose, the elephant she had rescued as a baby, still thriving among the herd. Then, in a moment that defied typical animal behavior, Rose seemed to recognize the presence of humans within the safari vehicle. This recognition was extraordinary, as animals generally perceive vehicles as inanimate objects, 
not recognizing the individuals inside, this exception to the rule might be attributed to Rose's upbringing around humans and vehicles. Rose's approach suggested a deep-seated recognition, a testament to the unique bond she shared with. Daphne, transcending the usual barriers between species, this poignant reunion underscored the profound impact Daphne had made on the lives of the animals she cherished, marking a fitting tribute to a life well-lived dedicated to the preservation and care of some of the planet's most remarkable creatures in a profoundly touching encounter that unfolded in the African wilderness. An old woman named Daphne found herself face to face with a majestic elephant named Rose. The scene began when Rose, decisively breaking away from her herd, made her way directly towards the vehicle that Daphne was in. The guide, sensing the potential danger, grew increasingly anxious and urged Daphne and her daughter to remain inside the vehicle for safety. However, Daphne, with a serene confidence, stepped out to meet the elephant, reassuring the guide that she was in no danger from Rose. The bond between Daphne and Rose was no ordinary one. Years had passed since their last meeting, yet the connection they shared was undiminished. In an extraordinary gesture of recognition and affection, Rose approached Daphne and gently pressed her forehead against the woman's, acknowledging her adoptive mother in a silent, powerful reunion that moved everyone present to tears. This enormous creature, capable of immense strength, instead chose to show her gentleness and affection towards Daphne, wrapping her large trunk around the old woman in what seemed to be an expression of deep gratitude for the rescue and care she had received. The moment was not just about gratitude, it felt like Rose was also acknowledging Daphne's lifelong dedication to saving and protecting many others like her. To Daphne, this poignant encounter felt like a heartfelt farewell. After a while, Rose returned to her herd, and they slowly moved away, allowing Daphne and her companions to return from their journey. It was a profound experience for Daphne, one that marked her final visit to the African bush. Sadly, not long after, this memorable encounter, Daphne passed away at the age of 83 after a battle with cancer. Her legacy, however, lives on through the continuous efforts of many who were inspired by her and her husband David's dedication to wildlife conservation. The fight against the cruel poaching of African elephants for their tusks persists, but organizations like the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust tirelessly work to protect these magnificent creatures, honoring Daphne's memory and continuing her mission. This story is a testament to the incredible bond that can exist between humans and animals, showcasing the deep connections and mutual respect that can transcend species. Daphne's life and her final farewell with Rose remind us of the impact one person can have in making the world a better place for all its inhabitants. After watching this story, what do you think of? Then there's an another story about elephant. Let's expect what will happen amidst the serene landscape of a Zimbabwean national park. Visitors were treated to an extraordinary sight, an African elephant, towering in its magnificence, approached their vehicles with an air of solemnity, yet, despite the awe-inspiring presence of this majestic creature, an air of unease permeated the atmosphere, for nestled upon the elephant's head lay a gaping wound, a silent testament to the trials it had endured, in the realm of these giants, encounters with bull elephants are often met with caution. Their formidable size and unpredictable nature commanding respect, however, it was not the elephant's demeanor that instilled fear, but rather the harrowing sight of its injury, a stark reminder of the fragility of life in the wilderness. This wounded soul, known affectionately as Pretty Boy, had long been under the watchful eye of park officials, his striking appearance and composed demeanor earning him both admiration and concern, yet, despite their vigilance, the resources needed to alleviate Pretty Boy's suffering remained elusive, leaving him to endure weeks of agony with little reprieve with each. Passing day, Pretty Boy's condition worsened, his silent cries echoing through the forest as he sought solace in the embrace of towering trees, his only refuge from the relentless pain, it was a heartrending spectacle, a poignant reminder of the toll exacted by human indifference upon the natural world. Yet, amidst the shadows of despair, a glimmer of hope emerged, a lone figure, drawn by the silent plea of a wounded soul, stepped forward to offer aid, though ill-equipped and lacking in expertise. The man's compassion knew no bounds, his determination to alleviate Pretty Boy's suffering unwavering recognizing the enormity of the task at hand, the man reached out for assistance, rallying fellow travelers and park officials alike in a collective effort to save Pretty Boy's life. Together, they formed a united front, pooling their resources and expertise to devise a plan of action with each passing moment. Pretty Boy's fate hung in the balance, his future uncertain amidst the vast expanse 
of the wilderness, yet, buoyed by the unwavering determination of those who stood by his side, he found solace in the promise of a brighter tomorrow, a testament to the enduring power of compassion and solidarity in the face of adversity amidst the uncertainty and trepidation that shrouded Pretty Boy's plight. This man stood as a beacon of hope, armed with a plan to summon aid from the Animal and Wildlife Area Research and Rehabilitation Trust, aware, with a sense of urgency coursing through his veins. He wasted no time in reaching out to Aware, whose seasoned team of veterinarians possessed the expertise needed to tend to Pretty Boy's wounds. As news of Pretty Boy's distress reached Aware, a sense of determination pervaded their ranks, compelling them to embark on a mission to assess the elephant's condition firsthand. Yet, little could prepare them for the grim reality that awaited. The severity of Pretty Boy's injuries far surpassed their expectations, casting a pall of uncertainty over their efforts, undeterred by the daunting task that lay ahead, the team steeled themselves for the arduous journey that awaited, acutely aware of the risks posed by approaching an injured elephant, with safety as their foremost priority, they meticulously devised a plan to ensure the well-being of both Pretty Boy and themselves, knowing full well the inherent dangers that lurked within the wild, their first challenge lay in locating Pretty Boy amidst the vast expanse of the park. A task fraught with uncertainty and peril, yet, to their surprise, the wounded elephant revealed himself with startling clarity, his unmistakable presence marked by the gaping wound that marred his head, with bated breath, the team observed Pretty Boy's behavior from a safe distance, their every move calculated to minimize any potential risks, despite the gravity of his injuries, Pretty Boy remained surprisingly composed, his demeanor betraying a sense of curiosity and, perhaps, a glimmer of Hope, when Pretty Boy approached their vehicle with cautious steps, the team braced themselves for the delicate dance that lay ahead, their hearts pounding in anticipation of the task that awaited. With each passing moment, they remained vigilant, ready to spring into action at the slightest sign of danger, yet, to their astonishment, Pretty Boy's demeanor belied any sense of hostility or aggression, his gentle curiosity guiding him closer to the humans who stood before him. It was a moment of profound connection, a testament to the enduring bond that unites man and beast in the face of adversity, buoyed by Pretty Boy's trust and cooperation, the veterinarians seized the opportunity to conduct an initial examination, their every action guided by a singular purpose, to alleviate the elephant's suffering and restore him to health, with each passing moment, they worked tirelessly, their efforts fueled by a shared commitment to ensuring Pretty Boy's well-being, in the end, it was the unwavering trust between man and elephant that paved the way for Pretty Boy's salvation, a testament to the transformative power of compassion and solidarity in the face of adversity, and as the sun dipped below the horizon, casting its golden rays upon the savanna, a sense of hope blossomed amidst the shadows of uncertainty, a promise of brighter days ahead for Pretty Boy and all who stood by his side. After patiently observing Pretty Boy's behavior, the team at Aware deemed it necessary to proceed with the next steps in his treatment, the first order of business was to administer a powerful sedative to ensure the safety of both the elephant and the veterinary team during the examination, however, sedating such a large animal posed a significant challenge, requiring meticulous planning and precision as the tranquilizer began to take effect, Pretty Boy's massive frame swayed gently before gracefully descending to the ground, yet, as the team prepared to approach him, the elephant, made a feeble attempt to rise once more, prompting them to exercise caution and allow him more time to enter a deeper slumber. With patience and vigilance, they waited until he was sleeping soundly, his rhythmic breathing a reassuring sign of his tranquility. With Pretty Boy safely sedated, the team embarked on a thorough examination of the wound on his head. However, the depth of the injury remained elusive to the naked eye, prompting them to utilize a mobile x-ray machine for a more comprehensive assessment. What they discovered left them astonished, a bullet lodged inside Pretty Boy's skull, a grim reminder of the cruelty he had endured, in consultation with the director of AWARE, the team deliberated on whether to extract the bullet, despite its presence, they determined that if the bullet was not causing any immediate harm or discomfort, it could be left untouched to avoid potential complications, this fortunate revelation spared Pretty Boy from undergoing unnecessary surgery, offering him a semblance of relief amidst his ordeal, moreover, the location of the bullet impact proved to be a stroke of luck in itself, narrowly avoiding a fatal shot, just inches above a lethal trajectory, Pretty Boy's life hung in the balance, his survival a testament to resilience and chance, yet, the bullet's impact had not escaped consequences, 
causing fractures in his bones and sinuses, resulting in a severe infection that threatened his very existence armed with the necessary tools and expertise. The team set out to remove the bone fragments and treat the infected wound, offering Pretty Boy a fighting chance at recovery. Each delicate maneuver was executed with precision and care, with the collective goal of restoring the gentle giant to health and vitality. When Pretty Boy lay under the watchful gaze of his caregivers, a sense of determination pervaded the air, a steadfast commitment to ensuring his well-being and eventual return to the wild, and amidst the vast expanse of the Zimbabwean savanna, hope blossomed anew, a beacon of resilience and compassion in the face of adversity. Upon further examination, the veterinary team at AWARE made a startling discovery, Pretty Boy's extensive head wound wasn't his only affliction, another bullet wound marred his shoulder, evidence of a harrowing encounter with human cruelty, it appeared that the perpetrator, likely aiming for his heart after the initial headshot failed, inadvertently struck his shoulder instead, resulting in an abscess formation. The team faced the daunting task of draining the abscess and extracting the bullet. Lodged within Pretty Boy's flesh, the procedure was undoubtedly painful for the gentle giant, who must have endured unimaginable suffering throughout his ordeal. Yet, despite the agony he endured, Pretty Boy displayed remarkable stoicism, exhibiting no signs of aggression or irritability towards his caretakers. It was perplexing to witness Pretty Boy's lack of fear or hostility towards humans, considering the traumatic events he had likely witnessed at the hands of poachers or hunters. Scientific research attests to elephants' exceptional memory and capacity for complex emotions, making Pretty Boy's demeanor all the more remarkable in light of his traumatic past. As for the origin of the bullet wounds, uncertainty shrouded their cause. While some surrounding farms permitted elephant hunting, not all had adequate game fencing, allowing elephants to freely traverse between the park and these properties. The veterinarians suspected that Pretty Boy had fallen victim to poachers. Driven by the insatiable demand for ivory tusks, the bullets recovered from Pretty Boy's wounds were smaller than those typically used by professional hunters, indicative of poachers' callous disregard for animal welfare. Unlike hunters who seek trophies and aim for precision, poachers are solely motivated by greed, willing to maim or kill elephants indiscriminately for their tusks. Despite bearing witness to the worst of humanity, Pretty Boy remained a gentle soul throughout his examination eliciting profound admiration and empathy from his caretakers. Yet, as they delved deeper into his medical history, they uncovered yet another shocking revelation, a scar near his spine, evidence of a previous bullet wound. This revelation left the veterinary team incredulous, realizing that Pretty Boy had endured multiple traumatic incidents at the hands of humans. Despite his past suffering, the elephant had miraculously healed from previous wounds, a testament to his resilience and will to survive, amidst the complexities of Pretty Boy's story, one thing remained abundantly clear, his unwavering trust in humanity despite the atrocities he had endured, it was a testament to the enduring bond between humans and animals, highlighting the importance of compassion and empathy in the face of adversity. Since his heroine returned bearing the scars of his ordeal, he had taken refuge within the confines of the park. For several weeks, this area served as his sanctuary, a place where he seemed to have found solace, though it was unclear if he was aware of its protected status. This region was a no-hunting zone, safeguarded not only by regulations but also by vigilant guards patrolling to deter poachers and ensure the safety of its elephant inhabitants. Such measures significantly enhanced his chances of recovery. Healing his myriad injuries was no small feat, it required a meticulous, time-consuming process that included sedation to facilitate the treatment. The veterinary team worked tirelessly to cleanse and inspect every wound before administering a course of antibiotics to combat infection. Once they had finished, the sense of physical exhaustion from the demanding task of handling such a large animal, combined with the emotional toll taken by witnessing the aftermath of his harrowing experiences, was palpable among them despite the day's arduous efforts. What unfolded next was a poignant mix of endearing charm and heartache. Upon awakening, he rose with surprising alacrity mirroring the unsteady wakefulness of a drowsy child, named Pretty Boy. He was evidently still fatigued, seeking brief solace and movement before finding a makeshift rest against a tree. There, he succumbed to sleep once more, his head resting against the bark in a scene of touching vulnerability. It was a stark reminder of the fragility that lies beneath the surface of even the most formidable beings, revealing the depth of fear and pain that had marked him, Pretty Boy's 
only desire was to reclaim his health and live in tranquility, a wish shared fervently by the dedicated veterinary team monitoring his recovery, their frequent visits bore witness to his improving condition, the severe wound on his head was healing, and he appeared increasingly robust, his demeanor throughout had been one of remarkable calmness, raising questions about how his interactions with humans might evolve post-recovery, was his initial approach, driven by a desperate plea for help. Merely a temporary deviation from his natural disposition, time would tell, opting to remain within the relative security of the national park, Pretty Boy appeared to recognize the sanctuary it offered, the freedom to roam was his, yet he seemed to prefer the safety of this haven, a choice understandable to anyone weary of conflict and aggression, despite the ordeal he had endured, his spirit remained unbroken, a testament to his resilience, months later, Moira and her husband, inspired by tales of his remarkable rescue, visited the park, they were eager to witness firsthand the saga of survival and healing that had captivated so many, Pretty Boy's story was not just one of survival but a poignant narrative of resilience, a beacon of hope, and a reminder of the profound connections that can be forged between humans and the majestic creatures with whom we share this earth, upon encountering Pretty Boy, it was immediately evident that he had made a remarkable recovery, the once gaping wound on his head had transformed into a scar, a testament to his resilience, at the time of the sighting, he was contentedly feasting on the succulent branches of a nearby tree, in the company of another male elephant, it's generally known that male elephants can exhibit territorial behavior, yet pretty boy seemed to possess a unique ability to befriend others effortlessly, observing from a safe distance, as advised, Ira and her husband noticed the companion elephant cautiously assessed there vehicle before choosing to retreat slightly, prioritizing peace and solitude. Despite the cautionary advice, what unfolded next was wholly unexpected. Unlike his companion, Pretty Boy exhibited curiosity towards the humans in the vehicle, approaching them directly. This encounter could have escalated into a frightening situation, but Pretty Boy's demeanor was calm and inquisitive. In an attempt to re-establish a comfortable distance, Ira's husband initiated the vehicle's engine, a move fraught. With potential risk, the sudden sound could have startled Pretty Boy, possibly perceiving the vehicle as a threatening entity. In such scenarios, an elephant's reaction can be swift and devastating, capable of overturning a vehicle as if it were merely a cardboard box, leaving the occupants powerless, miraculously. Even as the vehicle commenced movement, Pretty Boy's reaction was one of serene curiosity. He accompanied the vehicle, walking alongside as if partaking in a shared journey. This extraordinary interaction not only provided the tourists with a memorable experience but also highlighted Pretty Boy's exceptional nature, despite enduring unimaginable suffering, he maintained his gentle spirit, harboring no resentment towards humans, Pretty Boy's story is a poignant reminder that adversity need not harden the heart, his willingness to trust humans again played a crucial role in his survival and recovery, Pretty Boy's resilience and gentle demeanor have inspired many particularly the team at AWARE, who faced daunting challenges in wildlife conservation. His story serves as a powerful emblem of hope and the positive impact of compassion, underscoring the importance of not allowing past traumas to dictate one's future. Through his remarkable journey, Pretty Boy has left an indelible mark on the hearts of those he has touched, embodying the essence of grace and the capacity for forgiveness. His legacy is a compelling narrative of triumph over adversity enriching the lives of all who learn of his remarkable journey.